call these but I call them prairie winkles. My dad used to fly fish with them and they take the little pebbles and they make a little cocoon and I always see them with little sticks hanging off of them. It's a lost soul. Well, <laughs> it is definitely a lost soul. <laughs> Just about everywhere you go along the river you find a flip-flop and it's usually only one. And Scott's pretty sure that at the end of... There's another one. <laughs> Where's the... Oh, there's another one. All trapped up in there. Everybody loses their shoes out here. Yeah. At least one of them. At least one. And Scotty's pretty sure that down at the foot of the river, that's the shoe graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not as uh, warm today out here on the river. It's actually pretty numbing to walk through. But I wanted to get you guys some underwater viewing. So we ventured up here. And fortunately we have no cell service here. I did put a uh, little comment at the top of one of the videos one person I don't know seemed a little irritated that we weren't posting every single day unfortunately it's a 50 mile round trip um, trip back down to town to upload so we have not done that um, we're doing the best we can to bring you guys uh, a daily vlog but you know when we don't have service it's just the way it kind of goes. And then we just try to get caught up the best we can. I don't, uh, I don't really... What would you say? I don't, well, what is that called? I don't really, uh, pile videos on top of videos. I kind of bring stockpile. it to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't stockpile videos. Um, we will do at most two videos and put them in YouTube and let them sit there and then they go on a timer to be released the next day and the day after that but that is as far as I've ever done is just two. And you're entitled to a day off. <laughs> Believe it or not. I give you a day For off. For me to bring you guys a 10 to 15 minute video it usually takes me about uh, five to six hours of editing. Um, I'm not as good at editing as Aja and some of the other YouTubers, so it takes me a long time to edit. And um, I can't, I can't stockpile videos like that because I just, it's a lot of work for me. Anyways, just wanted to let you guys know that we are safe. I know some of you guys were a little worried, and um, thank you. You guys are such good friends to worry about us, um, but we certainly don't want to worry you. All right, we're back at our camper. We're gonna go in, get our toesies warmed up. That was cold today. And, whoop, Scott's trying to hit that stick. Oh, you got it. Well, I was trying to hit the rock off I put up there. <laughs> but now I'm sure my shoulder will be all out <laughs> No winners. Oh. Sure is pretty though. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. It feels like here. it's warming up or maybe my legs are numb. I think our legs are numb. Okay. <laughs> Did you put the rock on the rock? I put the rock there. When we got here the first day, oops. Um Sorry guys, I'm trying to film as we're walking through the current. 
It was going that, all the way over there. Yeah, that rock was completely covered by water, and now there's a ripple over it. Just a little bit. So I put that there to, mm -hmm. so I could watch it. Just walking now. <laughs> Scotty's going to go tubing with me. It's floating. Okay. No, I went in the shallow end and worked my way. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, they're going my back. Good Get your back. I'm all good now. Bye. Oh, see, I can pass. I'm going to see where you go. Okay. <laughs> go right into the bushes. Shoot. You're going to take me right where I don't want to go. There. Got to pedal backwards to slow it up. <laughs> Does it smell? Nope. <laughs> it doesn't smell like nothing. Like anything, <laughs> pollen maybe. <laughs> but they are pretty. Yeah. Like we've seen two of these big airplanes coming through. As you can hear, the wind is whipping through here. And just in the last hour, it's the you know first. getting ash coming into my campsite. Yeah. So Danny just said she's got ash coming into her campsite. Yeah. And that is the first time that we have seen smoke over the ridge. Yeah, you can so, see it dropping. Yeah. So we've just kind of put everything up against the truck. And if we got to vacate, we can just grab it and throw it in the camper and out we go. So I think we're okay. I'm sure that they uh, will send a ranger up here to vacate everybody if need be. But that, that just happened in the last hour, so it's a little scary, but I think we're, we're all okay for right now. And if uh, the ranger comes down, we will certainly be very quick about it and get out. So, they will. I've seen the rangers twice today, so they would have seen it. Yeah. And we had, we had towards Utah. You see how red okay. the horizon is over there? Um, I was just telling these guys here on YouTube, and I was telling Scotty, we just have everything kind of by the, by our camper, so we can just yeah. throw it in and get out at uh, good idea. a quick notice. That's a good tip. Thank yeah. you. Mick, what was the uh, airplane that you saw? Uh, was that, I think it was like a C-130. They're just the fixed wing. They carry, um, they can dump a quarter acre of fire retardant in 10 seconds. Wow. And it only takes them 12 minutes to refill on the ground. Okay. So they're, they're working that constantly, plus the two helicopters. And we've seen two of those big, mm -hmm. big planes go over. Yeah. They come out from the air base over here. They're using the, the air forces. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just keep an eye on like it. Like I said, we've got all this is all fire break. Yeah. Even if it come down, it, it could go that way, but... There ain't nothing there for it to burn. Well, I'm which still vacating. Our, if well, that's our route <laughs> I, out. Is yeah, what I'm saying. exactly. That's the only way to get out. Right. So you could still get to 24 and hopefully. Yeah. They're babies. Baby weasels. Baby weasels. Oh, they're little. Oh, what's he? Oh, he's trying to help him up. No, what are you doing? Hey, hey, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> All right, well, this gentleman right here has come down, the guy in the blue shirt, and he is just warning people that if you have a breathing problem that you need to probably vacate the area just because the smoke is going to hit all the way up in the valley up there. And so anyone that's got like asthma or something like that, they need to probably go down. But it does. So what did that guy He just said if you have breathing problems that you probably need to go to lower Who is elevation. he? Is he just a camper? I think he's just a... Um, yeah, just a, 
It's a couple hours after the gentleman came down and I don't know if it's, it kind of looks like it's getting worse and there is actually now ash coming down. Danny thought that she saw ash before but we are definitely seeing ash now. So it's kind of all around us. Good morning, everybody. Well, as you can see, we are all still here after the evening when the uh, gentleman came down and told us that the smoke was going to get pretty bad, and it did get pretty bad. Scott tried to open the window up a couple times during the middle of the night to get some fresh air, and it was all smoke. And if you see back here, you can barely see that uh, ridge back there. There was a fire, uh, we were told last night, that there was another fire back there but it was put out so a lot of smoke was coming from that and then when you turn around over here you can still see some of the smoke haze out that way and then where I just uh, time lapse for you guys the sun coming up which was beautiful it's all hazy over there with smoke so it's definitely um, a lot worse than it was yesterday afternoon. The winds had shifted and that's what came in. I don't know if we're taking off today. Aja had talked about maybe leaving last night if it got really bad, but she's still over there as well. And I think we'll just wake up this morning and... We'll have a group meeting and see what everybody wants to do. So we'll let you guys know. We're leaving. All right, love y'all. I love you too. We'll see you down the road. Okay, just let me know where y'all end up and if there's internet. And stuff, okay. I might meet you there. I'm going to text you and then when you go down and get internet, you'll know. Okay. Okay, love Does you girl. Does anybody else have internet? No. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> I know, remember it usually hits me on the second night, so. Okay, then, okay I love, love you. you. We'll see you down the road. Okay. We'll get a good spot for all of us. Okay, thank you. Uh, safe, safe travels. See you later. We'll see Bye you down guys. the road.